The prickly pear cactus has been used for centuries both as a food source and a natural fence that keeps in livestock and marks the boundaries of family lands. They are resilient and often grow back following removal. The 1975-1988 version of the emblem of Malta also featured a prickly pear, along with a traditional dijihajsa, a shovel and pitchfork, and the rising sun. The cactus lends its name to a song by British jazz classical group Portico Quartet. The song, My Rival, on the album Gaucho by the American jazz pop group Steely Dan begins with the words, The wind was driving in my face, the smell of prickly pear. In the fall of 1961, Cuba had its troops plant an 13-kilometer, 8-miles barrier of Apuntia cactus along the northeastern section of the 28-kilometer, 17-miles fence surrounding the Guantanamo Bay naval base to stop Cubans from escaping Cuba to take refuge in the United States. This was dubbed the Cactus Curtain, an allusion to Europe's Iron Curtain and the Bamboo Curtain in East Asia. Uruguayan-born footballer Bruno Forneroli is nicknamed Prickly Pear due to his sometimes spiky hairstyles. The coat of arms of Mexico depicts a Mexican golden eagle, perched upon an Apuntia cactus, holding a rattlesnake. According to the official history of Mexico, the coat of arms is inspired by an Aztec legend regarding the founding of Tenochtitlan. The Aztecs, then a nomadic tribe, were wandering throughout Mexico in search of a divine sign to indicate the precise spot upon which they were to build their capital. Their god Huitzilopochtli had commanded them to find an eagle devouring a snake, perched atop a cactus that grew on a rock submerged in a lake. After 200 years of wandering, they found the promised sign on a small island in the swampy Lake Texcoco. There they founded their new capital, Tenochtitlan. The cactus full of fruits, is the symbol for the island of Tenochtitlan. Apuntia, commonly called prickly pear or pear cactus, is a genus of flowering plants in the cactus family Cactaceae. Prickly pears are also known as tuna, fruit, sabra, nopal, paddle, plural nopales, from the Nahuatl word nopali for the pads, or nosal, from the Nahuatl word nokli for the fruit, or paddle cactus. The genus is named for the ancient Greek city of Opus, where, according to Theophrastus, an edible plant grew and could be propagated by rooting its leaves. The most common culinary species is the Indian fig Apuntia. Raw Apuntia leaves are 88% water, 10% carbohydrates, and less than 1% both of protein and fat. In a 100 gram, 3 plus 1 half ounce, reference serving, raw leaves provide 170 kilojoules, 41 kilocalories, of food energy, 17% of the daily value, DV, for vitamin C, and 24% DV for magnesium, with no other micronutrients in significant content. The fruit of prickly pears, commonly called cactus fruit, cactus fig, Indian fig, nopales or tuna in Spanish, is edible, although it must be peeled carefully to remove the small spines on the outer skin before consumption. If the outer layer is not properly removed, blockades can be ingested, causing discomfort of the throat, lips, and tongue, as the small spines are easily lodged in the skin. Native Americans like the Tequesta would roll the fruit around in a suitable medium, e.g. grit, to sand, off the glockids. Alternatively, rotating the fruit in the flame of a campfire or torch has been used to remove the glockids. Today, Parthenocarpic, seedless, cultivars are also available. The seeds can be used for flour. In Mexico, prickly pears are often used to make appetizers, soups, salads, entrees, vegetable dishes, breads, desserts, beverages, candy, jelly, and drinks. The young stem segments, usually called pads or nopales, are also edible in most species of Apuntia. They are commonly used in Mexican cuisine in dishes such as huevos con nopales, eggs with nopal, or tacos de nopales. Nopales are also an important ingredient in new Mexican cuisine. In 2009 it was introduced as a cheaper alternative to corn for the production of tortillas and other corn products. They can also be pickled. Apuntia ficus indica has been introduced to Europe, and flourishes in areas with a suitable climate, such as the south of France and southern Italy. In Sicily, they are referred to as fishy dindia, Italian literal translation of Indian fig, or ficurinia, Sicilian language literal translation of Indian fig. In Sardinia, they are called figumarisca, Moorish figs, the same denomination they receive along the Catalan-speaking regions of the western Mediterranean, figa de Moro. They can be found also in the Struma River in Bulgaria, in southern Portugal and Madeira, where they are called tabibo, figo tuno, or, Indian figs, in Andalusia, 
Spain, where they are known as Higos Chumbos. In Greece, it grows in such places as the Peloponnese region, Ionian Islands, or Crete, and its figs are known as Frangosica, Frankish, i.e. Western European, figs, or Pavlosica, calls figs depending on the region. In Albania, they are called Fik Dedi translated as, sea figs, and are present in the southwest shore. The figs are also grown in Cyprus, where they are known as Papautsosica or Babutsa, shoe figs. The prickly pear also grows widely on the islands of Malta, where it is enjoyed by the Maltese as a typical summer fruit, known as bajtar tax zik, literally, spiny figs, as well as being used to make the popular liqueur known as bitra. The prickly pear is so commonly found in the Maltese islands, it is often used as a dividing wall between many of Malta's characteristic terraced fields in place of the usual rubble walls. The prickly pear was introduced to Eritrea during the period of Italian colonization between 1890 and 1940. It is locally known there as bellus and is abundant during the late summer and early autumn, late July through September. The bellus from the holy monastery of Debray Bizon is said to be particularly sweet and juicy. In Morocco, Tunisia, Libya, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and other parts of North Africa and the Middle East such as Israel, prickly pears of the yellow and orange varieties are grown by the side of farms, beside railway tracks and other otherwise non-cultivable land. It is sold in summer by street vendors, and is considered a refreshing fruit for that season. In Libya, it is a popular summer fruit and called by the locals Hindi, which literally means Indian. Tungi is the local street. Hellenian name for cactus pears. The plants, Indian fig apuntia, were originally brought to the island by the colonial ivory traders from East Africa in the 1850s. Tungi cactus now grows wild in the dry coastal regions of the island. Three principal cultivars of Tungi grow on the island. The, English, with yellow fruit. The, Madeira, with large red fruit. And the small, firm, spiny red. Tungi also gives its name to a local spirit distilled at the St. Helena Distillery at Alarm Forest, the most remote distillery in the world, made entirely from the Apuntia cactus. In Mexican folk medicine, its pulp and juice are considered treatments for wounds and inflammation of the digestive and urinary tracts, although there is no high-quality evidence for any clinical benefit of using Apuntia for these purposes. Prior to modern medicine, Native Americans and Mexicans primarily used apuntia as a coagulant for open wounds, using the pulp of the stem either by splitting the stem or scraping out the pulp. In one recent study, it was found that apuntia aided in the prevention or slow down of diabetes, obesity, metabolic syndrome, cardiovascular disease, and some cancers. The results of the group that was taking apuntia showed a reduction in BMI, body composition, and waist circumference when compared to the placebo group. Dactylopius coccus is a scale insect from which cochineal dye is derived. D. Coccus itself is native to tropical and subtropical South America and Mexico. This insect, a primarily sessile parasite, lives on cacti from the genus Apuntia, feeding on moisture and nutrients in the cactus sap. The insect produces carminic acid, which deters predation by other insects. The carminic acid can be extracted from the insect's body and eggs to make the red dye. Cochineal is used primarily as a red food coloring and for cosmetics. The cochineal dye was used by the Aztec and Maya peoples of Central and North America, and by the Inca in South America. Produced almost exclusively in Oaxaca, Mexico, by indigenous producers, cochineal became Mexico's second most valued export after silver. The dye stuff was consumed throughout Europe, and was so highly valued, its price was regularly quoted on the London and Amsterdam commodity exchanges. The biggest producers of cochineal are Peru, the Canary Islands, and Chile. Current health concerns over artificial food additives have renewed the popularity of cochineal dyes, and the increased demand is making cultivation for insect farming an attractive opportunity in other regions, such as in Mexico, where cochineal production had declined again owing to the numerous natural enemies of the scale insect. Apart from cochineal, the red dye botanin can be extracted from some apuntia plants themselves. Cactus is used as a fodder crop for animals in arid and dryland regions. The thick skin of Nopal cactus can be harvested as an environmentally friendly leather replacement. Bioethanol can be produced from some Apuntia species. Nopal juice can be used to produce bioplastic.